Boston Area Youth Organizing Project is leading the Youth Way on the MBTA campaign, which focuses on the creation of a youth pass. The youth pass proposal would allow students to purchase a tea pass for $10 a month that would expire at 10 p.m. instead of 8 and also work on the weekends. Students could also purchase a pass during summer vacation for $12.50 a month. These changes would greatly improve safety and access for 12 to 21 year olds. Young people who then don't go to school, and in our city there's a number of young people, we have a 50% dropout rate almost. So in our city there are a number of young people who actually need access on the T. They might be trying to improve their lives and they can't get on the T because it costs them the same amount as adults to ride it. Young people have a different economy than adults, and so they should have a different pass from adults. There are plenty of students who have to get after school jobs and they're involved in other activities after school. So when your bus pass runs out at 8 o'clock and you leave probably at 7.30 and you have to get on a train, a bus and another bus, it's a problem because you'll probably get on the train and a bus and you won't be able to get on the last bus because your past has ran out and there's no exceptions. And it's a really unfair predicament to put young people in who are trying to improve their lives. So I just want to say I think the benefits to young people are huge because it's called opportunity. It's their chance to get out into the world. You're 15, you want to work. You're 16, you want to go to college. You're 17, you want to do something different in your world. You don't want to stay on your block that you've been on the whole entire time. This might be another reason why young people in the city are facing violence because they don't have the same opportunities that other young people might have. Since January of 2009, there have been a combined total of 190 reported crimes at Forest Hills, Ruggles, Ashmont, Dudley, and Downtown Crossing. To address the rising rate of reported crimes around T stations, BYOP wants to increase bus service for lines that run every hour to every half an hour and those that run every half an hour to every 15 minutes. Youth Way on the MBTA campaign is also about safety. And so, you know, there are a number of um, things that are going on with young people around violence um, in their communities. And that actually happens at T stops and outside. When shootings happen, they happen outside. Um, so, young people aren't safe on the T. And part of that safety is about them just standing there waiting for. While BYLP recognizes that they are asking for major changes, they believe that their campaign is a critical step in increasing youth opportunity and curbing violence while increasing MBTA revenues. Well, some of the benefits, um, if it's made available to more people, possibly more people would be buying pass, so you could improve uh, pass revenues. Um, also, got to make the system a little more accessible to people. These demands might be, you know, high and might be pretty, you know, asking a lot of the MBT officials and of the governor and the secretary of transportation. However, we hope and believe and expect that since we're the public, since we're the people that they're serving, since we're some of the people that they, we elected them to those positions, that they actually listen, convey, and, you know, address our demands. Call the